to lift up your voices to start blessing the most high that has pulled you through the God that has taken you to a new month. Brethren, I want you to open your mouth to thank the Most High. It has been such a good God. I want you to tell the Lord, thank you for, oh Lord, keeping me. Thank you, oh Lord, for pulling me through even the previous months. Thank you, oh Lord, for your blessings that make it rich and added no sorrow. Thank you because, Lord, I'm among the living and I'm not, I'm not, I'm not among the dead. Brethren, I want you to bless him most I for keeping you and your family for keeping you alive I want you to just thank him he deserves your glory he deserves your honor he deserves our adoration he's a good God he's a mighty God he's a prince of peace he's a lord of lords he's our God he's our father he's the alpha the omega Jehovah Nis is his name Jehovah Shammah is his name Jehovah Rophaka is his name he is our God. Brethren, I want you to bless the God that has kept us. We've come to say, Lord, we appreciate you. There is none to be compared with you. King of kings, Lord of lords, you are such an awesome God. Mighty man in battle. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we thank you. Ah, our refuge, we thank you. Our deliverer, we thank you. The rock of our salvation, we thank you. Our strength, we thank you. Our protector, we thank you. Our provider, we thank you. Here we are. We lift, lift up our voices in praises to the most high. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. I want us to pray also. The hymn said, Lord, lift me up and let me stand. I want you to tell the Lord, Lord, come and lift me up. I want you to tell the Lord, Lord, lift me up. I'm no longer comfortable with where I am. There is a higher plan for me. There is a higher height for me. There is a higher level for me. The Father, lift me up, O oh Lord. It is only you that can lift me up. David said in Psalm 40, I waited upon the Lord. I cried unto the Lord. He heard my cry and it brought me out of the merry clay and set my feet on a solid rock. I want you to tell the God of King, the King of Kings, the Lord of love, Father, lift me up and let me stand. Father, lift me to the next level. Lift me up to a greater height, O oh Lord. And in you I move. In you I live. In you I have my being. I have my confidence in you. It is only you that can do this great work. Father, come and lift me up beyond my widest imagination. Come and lift me up, oh Father, in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we have prayed. In Jesus' name we have prayed. I want us to, the, the, the theme of this month is breaking forth. I want you to tell the, yourself, I am breaking forth. I am breaking forth. What do you want to break forth from? You want to break forth from every form of limitation. Today is the womb of the month. What do you want in this month of June? I want you to start prophesying to yourself. I am breaking forth from limitation. I'm breaking forth from stagnation. I'm breaking forth from failure. I'm breaking forth from my past. I want you to start declaring it the way you mean it. You are the prophet and the prophetess of your own life. You shall decree a thing and it shall come to pass. I want you to break forth in your own spirit man. Start verbalizing it. Start speaking it. I am breaking forth. There is no more contamination. There is no more backwardness. There is no more backwardness. The path of the just shine brighter and brighter towards the perfect day. They go from strength to strength. Those of them that appear in Zion. You are in Zion. I want you to start telling the Lord the strength to move forward. The strength to break forth. The strength to go to the next level. I receive from you Lord. I receive from you Lord in the name of Jesus. Father Lord I thank you. In Jesus' name, we are prayed. I want us to pray. Hold someone. We are going to hold ourselves. We want to pray for the church of God. That the church of God will break forth. The church of God will break forth. In the name of Jesus. Every form of limitation. Please, can we all of us stand up? We are praying to the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. Our Father deserves honor. I want you to stand up. If you are not lame, you should stand up. I want you to stand up. And hold hand in unity. And all 
stand in one accord. Let's travel. Let's pray that the church of God will break forth in the name of Jesus. Your family will break forth. Your destiny will break forth. I want you to start praying that throne of grace will break forth. The church of the Most High will break forth. We shall not be limited any longer in the name of Jesus. The early church broke, broke forth. We shall break forth. Every spirit of limitation, every darkness, every cloud of darkness we come against you with the blood of Jesus. We come against you with the blood of Jesus. We are breaking forth as a church. We are breaking forth as individuals. We are breaking forth in our careers. We are breaking forth in the city of Windsor. Father Lord, we thank you. We will break forth. By your mercy, we will break forth. We are depending upon you. David said, by your help, I leap over the wall. I run through the troop. We run through every troop of hindrance. Every troop of hindrance. Every wall of limitation. We run through it. We scale through it in the name of Jesus. Brethren, I want you to pray. You can't remain like that. You want to break forth. The church of God wants to break forth. We have to break forth in the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you. Praise the Lord. Our God is good. I want to congratulate you. What an awesome time to be in God's presence. To start the month with God. And I know he will never leave you in Jesus name. That those your heart's desires. Those things you are crying for. Those things that you are hunger for. The God of heaven will meet you in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Amen. <laughs> God is good. I want you once more to internalize and say this is my month of breaking forth. I want you to call your name. I, Grace Ubeye, I will break forth to higher ground. I will break forth to new levels. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. And it shall be so in Jesus' name. Amen. I know, at least I've gone through by the grace of God, some pregnancies. Amen. Both spiritual and physical. Uh, and... After nine months, the baby is no longer comfortable in that place. The baby has to what? Break foot. And the place the baby comes through is so small that God has to make it so big for the head of that baby to comfort and the body will push out. Amen. Well, you can see, once the set time has come, the baby does, does not want to stay there any longer. Nation makes it so well that there's pressure. Things start happening. And the baby says, look, I have to come out to be alive. And I know you will come out in the name of Jesus. So for a baby to survive, when the due time comes, the baby has to break forth. And the baby has to come out. Praise the Lord. So, the due time for you to break forth has come in the name of Jesus. You will never settle in Loloba any longer in the name of Jesus. You are breaking forth barriers in the name of Jesus. You are breaking forth uh, obstacles in the name of Jesus. You are breaking forth to new eyes in the name of Jesus. You are breaking forth from your past in the name of Jesus. That is the word of God. And that's a prophetic word to you. I want you to hold it. I can speak the word, but if we do not hold it, then you will not get it. And today, the Lord has given us a word. Breaking forth means to burst out speedily or suddenly. You know, when something breaks, you know, cracking takes a process, but to break is a sudden something. And do you know what? It doesn't matter how long you've been unemployed. It doesn't matter how long you've been financially bankrupt. It doesn't matter how long people have given you a name, you've been buried. It doesn't matter how long people have looked down on you. But when the day of manifestation comes, nothing stops your breaking forth in Jesus' name. Nothing stops your breaking forth in Jesus' name. And I prophesy to you, you will break forth in Jesus' name. Since the time is not long, usually uh, Thanksgiving Day is not long, I'm going to go to how we break forth and use it as story. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. You 
see in the book of 2 Kings chapter 6 the book of 2 Kings chapter 6 something happened there the sons of the prophets they were in the place and they discovered the place was too small so for you to break forth you must know that where you are is too small there must be first you realize because I can push you, pump you, do everything. If you do not realize where you are, it's not what it should be. You will not go forward. Hello? You must come like the prodigal son back to your senses to say, God has made me to be above, not below. I can't be a footmat to people any longer. God has made me to multiply, not to be a barren. God has given me the things that pertain to life and godliness. God has told me I should dominate. So you must come to the earth realization to say, look, where I am is not comfortable enough. You are unsettled. Tell yourself, I will be unsettled in the low place. I want you to profess, I, I will be unsettled in the low place. God is taking you to somewhere. And because you are unsettled, you must see where you want to be. You must have a vision of where you want to go. If you don't have a vision of where you want to go, there is no drive to go there. You must see with your eyes, your spiritual eyes. That is why Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 2 says, write the vision and make it plain. You must wait, set your watch. You must be in the place of prayer to say, Lord, I know this should not be where I should be any longer. The sons of the prophet said, look, this place we are meeting with you, Elisha, is too small. We want a bigger place. They could see they wanted a bigger place. They were no longer managing small place. You can be a manager of a small place, but you should be a manager of a multi-million something. Amen. Ah, the person that manages a uh, ship is a manager. The person that manages one person is a manager. And the person that manages 1,000 is a manager. I would rather prefer the big one. Manage better things. And that will be your portion in Jesus' name. Amen. So they were unsettled. Can someone help me read it? Or I read it. It's okay, let me read it from him. And the sons of the prophets said unto Elisha, Amen. Behold now, the place where we dwell with thee is too straight or for, for us. That means it's too small for us. God wants you to be in a mansion. God wants you to have your own house. You are settling for just one room. Where you have your kitchen there, your toilet there, your everything there. And God is telling you that I have something better for you. He said, where we are meeting with you, man of God, is too small. They recognize it. And they met the man of God. That's why the first person you will report your problem to is God. God, this is your promise about me. This position I am in is not good for you. It doesn't bring glory to you. Amen. They said it is too small. Then verse 2, he said, let us go. We prayed it. They wanted to take the, So for me to break forth, I will take action. Everybody say action. Speak it as you mean it. If you want to be a medical doctor, you take action, you go and read. If you want to be an engineer, you go and read. If you want to be a nurse, you go and read. If you want to set up business, you start somewhere, you plan. On Wednesday, we were talking about Dangote. When he was uh, building the cement factory, and someone asked him, you are pumping so much million in this. He said, do you think I'm a fool? I have studied, I have learned, and I'm taking action about this project. That nobody will come and fool me. Praise the Lord. You take action. Either you study, or you invest in it, or do something. You must take one action or the other. And they said, verse 2 again, let us go, we pray thee, unto Jordan. Can you see? They said, we have to go to Jordan. And take thence every man a beam. Let's go and get wood. And let us make us a place there. Where we may dwell. And he answered, go ye. The New Living Translation, make, let us make up a place that is bigger. And 
he said, you go. Can you see? They first met a man of God and he gave them the permission. Meaning, the next level I'm looking for, I must hear God speak to me on how I should go. Hallelujah. He said, go. But do you know what they said? We cannot go alone. Ah! Man of God, follow us. If God does not follow you in this journey, you cannot make it. Did you hear that? If God does not follow you, Moses said in Exodus 33, he said, if you do not go with us, I cannot go. Your presence means success. Your presence means breakthrough. Verse 3. And one of them said, be content, I pray thee, and go with thy servant. And he answered, I will go. Once you invite God into this boat, once you invite God into this journey, he's bound to go with you. Because he knows you are unsettled in the low bar. He knows you are unsettled in the low places. He said, I will go with thee. And he followed them. But do you know what? What happened? Verse 4. So he went with them. And when they came to Jordan, they cut down wood. Verse 5. But as one was felling a beam, the axe head fell into the water. And he cried and said, At last, master, for it was borrowed. Mm. I've told God about my journey. I've told God I want an increase. I've told God I want to go in the next level. His presence is with me. But you know, Satan is not happy. The axe head felling is an attack of the evil one. Hello? The axe head falling when you're progressing, when you are doing something and something happened, it's an attack. Satan came to attack so that they will not be able to cut the wood. I want you to pray. Tell the Lord, Lord, help me to overcome every obstacle in my way of progress. I want you to pray this prayer. Lord, the grace to overcome. Father, every obstacle in my way of progress, in my way of moving forward. Father, give to me in the name of Jesus. It might be discouragement. It might be whatever it is. I do not know. But God, the grace to overcome every obstacle. Father, give to me in the name of Jesus. The accent falling was an obstacle. It wanted to stop their, their progress. But do you know what? When God is with you, he speaks against <laughs> the law of gravity. Hallelujah. Amen. <laughs> you are not qualified, but you are qualified. Ah, you don't speak well, but you speak well. Ah, you don't have the, 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 the correct accent, but you have it. Ah, he speaks against the law of the land. He speaks against every contrary law. He speaks against every contrary wind. He stills the storm. Praise the Lord. And <laughs> praise the Lord. And he said it was borrowed. It might be the idea you are trying to use to succeed it might be someone else's origin. It originated from someone else. It doesn't matter. It might be you ask someone to help you with this project or give you ideas about this business. It doesn't matter. It might be you stumbled across it. It doesn't matter. That you are not the original owner of that money and you went for a loan. It doesn't matter. You want to invest it so that you will progress. Praise the Lord. So it can be borrowed money. It can be borrowed idea. It can be borrowed anything. But so far you make good use of it. You will spring forth in Jesus name. And Elijah. Asked him. Where the axe head fell. And the man of God said. Verse 6. Where fell it. And he shoot him. And the place. And he cut down the stick. And cast it either. And the iron did Swim. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. You can see God overcoming every barrier in your life. You can see God overcoming every obstacle in your life. You can see that acts and uh, swim against what? Gravity, the law of gravity. Press the Lord. And what happened? He recovered the axe head and gave it to them. Eventually, of course, they built it. They had a big place. So from this story, we saw people having vision. We saw people unsettled where they, they were. We saw people taking action. We saw the evil one even striking. But you see, because God was with them, we saw how they overcame. And they finally got what they wanted. Praise the Lord. When I looked at the story, I married it with Isaiah 54. We are going there again. But before Isaiah 54, the Lord spoke something to me. Second Kings chapter 2. There's something I want us to look there. Second Kings chapter 2. There's something I want us to look there. The, the, the people best. of... Um, of the, of the place came to meet Elijah and they said where we are staying he said um, how did they put it they said the, the, the water in the place is bitter and that the land is barren the water in the place Second Kings chapter 2 from verse 19 they came to meet him he said it's a good location but the water, supplying water to that land is bad. And because the water is bad, the land is barren. Praise the Lord. And what did Elijah do? He told them, give me a salt. Give me a salt. The salt signifies the Holy Spirit. Because salt sant sant what I mean, sanitizes. It preserves. He said, give me a salt. And he went to the source. The origin where that water is supplying the, the land. And he put the salt there. And prophesied that from now on, that land will no longer be barren. The land will be fruitful. Praise the Lord. Second Kings chapter, 19, uh, chapter 2 from verse 19. And the men of the city said unto Elisha, that's the people of Jericho, the men of the city said to Elijah, Behold, I pray thee, the situation of this city is pleasant. That means this country, Canada, is beautiful. Ah, that's why I came here. The place is beautiful, but the water, the laws and some things are polluting the place. Some things are too much for us. It's making us not to be fruitful. The water is not making the land to be fruitful. Amen. That's why they said, they said the land is pleasant. But there's something, there's a but. I pray, I tell you, just tell the Lord, every but in my life. Father, Lord, to uproot it. Everything that is but in my life, that is not making me to reflect your glory. Father, remove it in the name of Jesus. Every but in my children's life. Every but in your church, oh Lord. Father, come and take it away in the name of Jesus. Amen. And it shall be so in Jesus' name. Behold, I pray thee, the situation of the city is pleasant as my Lord see it. Do you know what? In the first story and the second story, they told Elijah, they said, Elisha, they said, as you can see, this place is too small. And the, the men of Jericho, they are telling Elisha now, as you can see, this place is fine, but there's something. That God sees your problem. That God sees you have been oppressed. That God sees everything doesn't bring about a change. Hello? What brings about a change is when you have faith in him, you call upon him, and what he will, he will answer. God can see you in your low estate, in whatever it is, if you refuse to call upon God, if you refuse to go and meet God, if you refuse to cry upon him, he will not answer. He said, call upon me, and I will answer you. Hello? do say, he knows that I'm going through this, so I don't need to tell anybody. I don't need, no. You have
have to turn in first. And he will give you wisdom and direction on how to pursue that project or pursue that situation and you will succeed in the name of Jesus. They stood him. They said, you can see. Uh -huh. I can see, but till you come and meet me, maybe you are comfortable in that place. As you can see, the ground is barren. Verse 20. And he said, bring me a new cruise and put salt therein. And they brought it to him. And he went forth unto the spring of the waters and cast the salt in there and said, Thus said the Lord, I have healed this water. There shall not be from hence any form of death or barren land. Praise the Lord. And I prophesy to you that from now on, Everything that is barren in your life. It might be financial. It might be job-wise. It might be whatever it is and all. I prophesy fruitfulness right now in the name of Jesus. I prophesy fruitfulness in the name of Jesus. I prophesy fruitfulness in the name of Jesus. From henceforth, there will be no barren among us. In the name of Jesus. He prophesied. And what happened? It might be an evil inheritance. It might be a problem of the past. Because that, that problem started from the water. The men were born into that situation where the water was bringing this in. So it was not something they caused. It was something that was long standing. And that's why I know every pending problem, every long standing problem, today we receive solutions in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. And that is so in Jesus' name. So, for you to bring forth, you must persevere. You must be persistent. You must rely on God. Do you know what? Pastor God said something once. He said, you first replay what God has done before for you. Replay what you are going to do and what take action. Replay, if God kept me this long, if God kept me this far, if God has been so faithful, ah, that problem is not impossible for God to do. So start playing back, uh, replay, uh, replaying what you are going to do. That was what David did. <laughs> he said, God delivered me from the lion. God delivered me from the deer, from the bear. That same God will deliver you into my hands. In fact, he started, he told Goliath, and said, I will shop off your neck. He prepared what he was going to do. And what did he do? He took action. I want you to tell the Lord, Lord, give me the grace to take action. I come against every spirit of procrastination. I come against every spirit, oh Lord, of laziness. I come against every spirit of fear. Because fear is one of the hindrances of breakthrough. You do not want to risk anything. I come against it right now with the blood of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Now Isaiah 54. Isaiah 54 from verse 1. We might just more like scratch it there. But I, tr I, I trust the most high that the little seed was sown today. We make you spring forth in the name of Jesus. You will never remain settled in less in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Isaiah 54 from verse 1. If you see it, you can read it for me. If anybody sees it, praise the Lord. Yeah. yeah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. My encouragement to you now. The word of God to encourage us. Never mind if things have gone wrong. Never mind you've been expecting something, it's not coming forth. But God wants you to bust out singing. He wants you to bust out singing. You are not saying amen. You don't mean, he, want, he wants you to bust out singing. I'm telling you, there's nothing as good as praising God. He knows as you are praising him, things have to happen. In the name of Jesus, he wants you to bust out singing. He said, though you are barren, he said, but bust out singing. Though things seem to be bad, that is your past. That is your past. Start looking at yourself that you will be productive. Start looking at yourself. Things 
will work out for your good. Start looking for yourself. That God will glance with fall for you in pleasant places. Start looking for your, uh, at yourself. That God will make a way where there seems to be no way. Do you know what? A brother once told me in this house. When he came to Canada. He was looking for a job. Can you imagine after being well paid? He said for seven months he did not get a job. Ah, they said the best they can give to him is intense after seven months. And you know whatever millions bring. If there's no addition to the millions. What will happen? They are going down. And it was getting to a, a, a terrible situation so that they don't evict, evict, evict him. I don't, what do you call it? <laughs> evict him from, from his house. And it was a terrible situation. And finally, he landed on a, a, an intense job with a very low pay. But at least half bread is better than none. He said, after he accepted that, I think within the same week, the position, a bigger position, opened in the place of work. And they wanted to interview him. And... He met someone and said, how do I go for this interview? He said, I just come. Then, already his pastor gave him a tie. He said he was going to wear that tie that day. They told him, don't bother. You, you don't need to dress well. Do you know? The choices you make, the little things you make, can catapult you to your great eye. He said that day, he, he dressed. And do you know when he went for the interview, it was a tie that attracted the person that was interviewing they were talking, they were talking, and he banked that job. Well paid job. Praise the Lord. There's nothing as good as listening to when God is speaking to you. He breaks forth, and he never remained the same after that day. You see, the wisdom to succeed comes from God. The decisions you make, that's why God is telling you, break forth, sing. It doesn't make sense. That's why it's your sacrifice of praise. I don't feel like singing, but God, I will sing. Because I know as I sing, you are going to do something for me. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Say, so break forth. And then, verse 3, say, enlarge the place of thy tent. This is a command. This is a command. Take the, take the risk. Don't be afraid. You are to enlarge. The sons of the prophet decided to enlarge. If you are not comfortable where you are, you have to make effort to move forward. Praise the Lord. He said, enlarge the place of thy tent and let them stretch forth. Do you know? Jabez was tired of where he was. Though he seems honorable, but to him he said, no, this honorable situation is not good enough. I need something better. And he calls to God of heaven. So, oh, that thou will bless me. And thou will bless me indeed. Say, enlarge my territory. Praise the Lord. Enlarge my territory. We are going to pray with Jabez's prayer now because I can't go forward. But I pray that this little words I've said will trigger you to greater heights in the name of Jesus. You must not let hindrances of the past, procrastination, failure, fear, hold you down in the name of Jesus. Even if you fall down, rise up again. Do you know what? The person that, uh, that doesn't try is just good for nothing. It's better you try and you die in the process and they, they, we know you try. They said in, on Mount Everest, at the very top of it, there was... A writing that says, here is a man who died climbing Mount Everest. He had a mind he wanted to reach the highest mountain. He got there and died. It's better than dying in Loloba. It's better than dying in low places. Praise the Lord. And I can see you moving up in the name of Jesus. Let nobody write in your tomb, tombstone that he never tried anything. Let nobody, nobody write in your tombstone that he never took any risk. Life itself is a risk. Your coming to school is a risk. Your doing any project is a risk. 
But God, one thing for sure is when you study, you depend upon God with prayer, God will lift you up. Praise the Lord. God will lift you up in the name of Jesus. He said he will bless the works of your hands. That is his promise. But you have to work for him to bless the works of your hands. Praise the Lord. We are going to pray with Jabez's prayer. You like to pray it? You like to do not pray? This is the very first day of June. If I were you, I will pray it as never before. If someone says you are shouting too much, shout more. And let the person leave you and all. You have to shout. Do you know what blind Bartimaeus was tired of being blind? And he screamed, Lord, have mercy on me. One man said, surely goodness and mercy shall follow you. He said, it is good for you to have the degree, but it is mercy when you have the job. Hello? It is good for you to be married, but it is mercy when you have children. Praise the Lord. So you want the combination of the two. Goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. Praise the Lord. So we are going to pray. Praise the Lord. Let's stand up. Let's start thanking God for what you've heard. Just be telling Lord, I will, First Chronicles chapter 4. From verse 10, just be telling God, Lord, thank you for your word. I will, I will, oh Lord, break forth to new heights. I will break forth for new levels in the name of Jesus. I will break forth, oh Lord, my past will not hinder me any longer. F procrastination will not hinder me any longer. Fear will not hinder me any longer. By your favor, oh Lord, I will move to greater heights in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, come and help me. Father, come and help me, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. I have my faith in you because for you to break forth you need faith you have faith in God that is able to do more than what you think or expect in the name of Jesus in Jesus name we are prayed we are going to pray with Jabez prayer and he said oh that thou would bless me indeed I want you to tell the Lord this month of my breaking forth Lord come and bless me indeed raise up your voices if you know you are not comfortable with what you are, you might be having A, but you want to have A, a plus. You might be having good business, but you want to have the best. It's the best that people want. Just tell the Lord, Lord, this month of my breakthrough, Father, that thou will bless me indeed. Oh Lord, that thou will bless me indeed. Oh Lord, that thou will bless me indeed. Father, Lord, come and bless me indeed. In the name of Jesus, come and bless me indeed. And enlarge my cause. I want you to tell the Lord Father come and enlarge my cause Come and enlarge my territory Come and enlarge my business Come and enlarge my ministry Come and enlarge your church Father it is only you that is do, can do it I depend upon you I have my confidence in you Father come and do that which you alone can do In the name of Jesus Come and bless me indeed Jehovah Come and bless me indeed my Father Come and bless me my Father Oh Lord, come and bless me. Enlarge my course and thy hands might be with me. I want you to tell the Lord, let your hands of mercy be upon me. Let your hands of mercy be upon your church. Let your hands of mercy be upon my children. Let your hands of mercy be upon my parents. Let your hands of mercy be upon my wife. Let your hands of mercy be upon my husband. Father, make a way where there seems to be no way. Let favor locate us, Jehovah. Let favor locate us, Jehovah. I've come to meet with you, Holy Lord. Father, Lord, you can do more than what I think or expect. I've come to meet with you. Jacob fought with the Lord. For Jacob fought with the Lord and God changed his name. I do not know whether God, who you want God to change your name. I want you to tell the most high. Father, Lord, whatever needs to be uprooted, let it be uprooted from my life. Whatever needs to be uprooted, let it be uprooted from my life. Father, Lord, Lord, come and uproot every tree you have not planted. Come and uproot every tree you have not planted. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. And he said, keep me from evil. I want you to tell the Lord. Father, come and keep me from evil. And in fact, all your brother or your sister, pray for them. That I pray for you, my brother, my sister. That the most I will keep you from evil. The most I will keep your family from evil. In the name of Jesus. 
He will surround you with his loving kindness and tender mercy. Oh yes, his favor will locate you in the name of Jesus. Oh yes, God will keep you from evil. God will keep you from everything that will grace you. In the name of Jesus, you will move from strength to strength. In the name of Jesus, you will move from one level of glory to another. In the name of Jesus, the God of heaven will locate you. In the name of Jesus, Father Lord, I thank you for my brother. I thank you for my sister. The Lord is a new day. It's a new dawn. It's a new day. It's a new dawn. The path of the just shine brighter and brighter towards the perfect day. I pray for you. Your path will shine. You will never go dim. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, my Father. For in Jesus' name we are prayed. You see, in that Isaiah 54, in verse 5, he said they will not go ashamed. I want you to tell the Lord every garment of shame and reproach take away from my life. I want you to pray. Lord, every garment of shame and reproach, every garment of shame and reproach take away from my life, oh Lord. Take away from my family. Take away from your church. Take away from the city of Windsor. We prophesy to the city of Windsor that you will be fruitful in the name of Jesus. We prophesy to this land that you will be fruitful in the name of Jesus. We speak healing to this land that there will be a job. There will be all oh Lord good things in this land in the name of Jesus. As a church we prophesy to Canada that it is well. We prophesy to our nations that it is well with us. We will break forth from oppression. We will break forth from every intimidation. We will break forth from every backwardness. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, my Father. For in Jesus' name we have prayed. Come on, say to me. Break every chain. Break every chain. Break every chain. Break every chain. 